All right, guys. Today we're doing a Bach March. This is something I learned when I was a kid. It's a neat little piece. Let's hear it. And so forth. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek, and welcome to my SeanCheek.com piano lessons. We are learning... <coughs> how to play this Bach piece today. I put the free part one on YouTube and if you uh, want the rest of it, it's on my website at SeanCheek.com along with many other lessons that are on there. Um, especially the boot camp sight reading series. If you have any trouble reading music, rhythms, just knowing what the notes are and how to put your hands together and all that stuff, uh, you need to do my boot camp series which, which is just kind of a jump start method to get you reading notes uh, easily. It's a method I wrote. You can download the sheets for it and uh, really get you, get you a fundamental, uh, the fundamentals on sight reading. But anyway, let's get started here with this part one. Get my highlighter going. And we, we are in the key of D. If you look at the key signature, we have... I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Get our, zoom in a little bit. Make this a little bigger. Oh, that's pretty big. Maybe not. I think that's big enough. All right, so we're in the key of D. We have two sharps. We have F sharp and C sharp. All Fs, all Cs will be sharp. Anytime you have a C note, it's a sharp. Automatically, anytime you have an F note, it's a sharp. So that's telling us to sharp all Fs and Cs. So you got that? Now we look at the time signature. We have what's called cut time. We have just the C, it's called common time, which is 4-4 four, four time, which is what we're all used to. Four counts in a measure, a quarter note gets the B, right? Well, cut time, you have the line through it, that, that's 2-2. Two, two. And it would mean there's two counts in a measure, and the half note gets the B. So that means everything is twice as quick as usual. Okay, so it's going to be, it's going to move along faster is the idea. But of course we have to learn it slow, okay? So don't worry about the cut time yet. Let's just count it in 4-4, four, four, which will work. We're going to start with the right hand. We're going to take just a little piece. All right, let's take this little piece right here. All right, I like to take little chunks, hands separately, put them together, and then move on to a different chunk. All right, so we have A, D, A. Here's middle C, so we're above that. A, D, A. Okay, Now we start on count four. I'm going to count this in four instead of cut time. It's going to be easier for both of us. All right, so starting on count four, and then uh, one, two, three. Now on count four, we're going to do a B and then a C, what? A C sharp, because there's a sharp in the, C sharp in the key signature. So B, C sharp. So A, B, A, B, C sharp. And then... Uh, Look at that part for a minute. Now we'll do the left hand. Look at the left hand here. We start with a D in the bass. D. It has a little kind of a march. Bum, 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 bum. Okay? So D below middle C. Right there with the fourth finger is good. Alright, and then you go up to G with your thumb. And then you go down to F sharp. It's an F sharp. And then you go down again to E. So D, G, F sharp. Big a deal there. Now watch where your hands play together. We'll put little vertical lines where they do. Okay, so we're going to start at the beginning and go that far. One, two, go. All right, do it again. Now let's look at the next measure. We're going to have another D to an A in the right hand. D, A, B, C sharp. Okay, so we have the B, C sharp thing at the end there. All right, so that measure is D, A, B, C sharp. Now, we're going to have a scale that goes up and comes down here. Okay, and it's not, not too terribly hard. Difficult, we're going to start with our thumb on the D, our one finger, and go D, E, F sharp, G, A, G, F sharp, E. Eight notes. Staccato on it if you want. <coughs> okay. 
okay? Um, so now let's go from the beginning with the right hand. One, two, right hand. under with my thumb when I went finger 2-3 on the B and C sharp and under with my thumb. So make sure you come under with your thumb. Under. Alright, now let's look at the left hand. Right here, the same exact thing. B, G, F sharp, E. Same exact thing as you did in the first measure. Okay, so we won't look at that. Let's look at this though. Starting right here, we have an F sharp. So don't forget to sharp the F. Down to D. You might want to come under with your thumb. If you run out of fingers, if you don't, come under with your thumb. And then this is a C sharp, right? You got to sharp it because it's a C. And then down to A. Okay? A lot of people are afraid of sharps, play, playing in sharps. You just need to play in sharps for a while, and then you won't be afraid of it anymore. Alright? And where the hands play together, look at that. Together, together. The ratio is 2 to 1. For every two notes in the right hand, you play one left hand note. Now let's try that measure right there, that last measure. And go. Okay. Now let's try the whole line. One, two, go. Start with F sharp, up high, down to a D, and then F sharp E. Okay? Ba -ba. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and now let's look at the left hand. It has a little ostinato part here. Which is kind of cool. Alright, so we'll start with a low D on the left hand. Way down here. There's middle C, so we're down here, D, and then up to a higher D. Now this note is C sharp, so you got to go C sharp, and then back to D, and then down to the low D again. So it's ba 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 ba. Okay, we'll put our hands together, draw in your vertical lines, and go. same stuff here. We have uh, the F sharp on the right hand, F sharp, D, but the last two notes are B and A. So cross over with your third finger, B, A. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and. Now the left hand has exactly the same thing as you did in this first measure, so we won't, won't go over that again, but just line your notes up. Okay, so we're starting here. Let's do this measure, and go. One, first three notes are make an E chord, all right, but it's B, G sharp, and then E. And three, two, five, like it says there is good. I don't always use the fingerings the editor puts in, but, you know, three, two, five, and then that's tied. So three, two, five, B, G sharp, E. So D, and then C sharp, and then B on the last one. <laughs> on the left hand, we have exactly the same thing again. So D, D, C sharp, D, D. So no difference there. Same exact thing. So, so uh, let's just line them up now. All right, ready, go. Let's play both lines. <coughs> Ready? One, two, three. The hardest line is the last one, I guess. 
So just watch that you have, starting right here, one and two. that tide note there in the right hand. All right, we'll finish this on the website, seancheek.com. Hope you guys enjoy it.